Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everybody, Chris Perillo here with two hands on the wheel and four eyes on the road, even though you can't see my four eyes. I'm cross-eyed today, so I'm wearing sunglasses so as not to throw anybody off. <clears throat> Got a question asked, uh, I believe, on LockerGnome.net, although it could have been asked in a YouTube comment thread, possibly on Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo or at Chris Perillo on Twitter. Either way, uh, you may have emailed it to me, Chris at Perillo.com, I don't know. I'm saving some time, you know, before we get to the end of the video, and I have to say that all over again. Uh, what is the difference between a page and a blog post in WordPress? Well, first of all, WordPress is basically a blog management system. It's currently what we're using to run LockerGnome.com, Chris.Perillo.com, and many blogs out there are running WordPress. And in terms of the difference between a page and a blog post, uh, it, it could boil down to just semantics, right? So if you want to, uh, you know, have a contact page, that's not likely going to be a blog post. It's going to be a page, a static page that's going to show up in the navigation. And, and really, you could put any content in a blog post or a page. It's just you would expect a page not to really be updated and not generally to be conversational or, uh, let's say, uh, timely in nature, like a, a news post would be timely in nature. That would be a blog post. You wouldn't have a news post necessarily as a page. So it's just how you accommodate the information. More than anything, the pages are going to be for static content about us, contact us, uh, maybe products and services, things that uh, you may not update on a regular basis, uh, pages that you may not want to have comments on. And that, more than anything, would be uh, the prime difference between a, a page and a blog post in WordPress. I mean, there's always been discussions, and I think we've covered it a while ago, specifically on, well, what's the difference between categories and tags in WordPress? You know, categories, much like in YouTube, are general, and tags are more specific. Uh, pages are there for more static content that can be placed in navigation, uh, you know, a site's navigation, and, and blog posts are more timely, you know, something that, you know, on this day, uh, at this time, this information was published. Pages aren't necessarily time sensitive, but they're important information to have. So hopefully that answered the question uh, as, as, as best, uh, well, I can tell you, as best I can answer the question I did. Uh, if you do have a WordPress blog and you get a lot of traffic, we have cdnandabox.com to help you. I've mentioned that before. Uh, and then, of course, we're also considering uh, starting up a, a blog theme subscription service. So stay tuned for that. I mean, and, and with that, you know, we'll also help you optimize advertising placement on your blog and uh, opportunities to make your blog better. So stay tuned for that. Of course, uh, you already know where you can find me and follow me everywhere. I mentioned it at the beginning of the video, just to throw you off. But one thing I didn't say is that, uh, you know, there's a chat room that's geeking out 24 hours a day, seven days a week in conjunction with a live video feed. And even if I'm not in front of it, there are certainly people watching an empty desk. Right there on the web at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.